tires. So many choices in tires. I'm a big fan of the whole shots. So I happen to have a couple different tires I want to take a look at today. So you're always probably wondering, you know, I can get these generic tires that are made in China uh, and they're cheaper than buying whole shots. Well, let's see how they compare. And for those who didn't know, uh, ITP makes tires in Carlisle, Pennsylvania and somewhere around Tennessee. But so what I have right here is straight off of Amazon, Amazon specials. Uh, these are Mass FX, and if you take a look at the size, they are AT2010-9. For those of you who don't know, these numbers stand for a 20-inch diameter tire, 10 inches wide, 9-inch wheel. So, no matter what, these should be 20 inches wide. Okay, obviously this tire's brand new, it's never had air in it. So you see that the China tires without air in them, uh, do give that concave look. So here I have, can't remember where I got these, but I actually got these at a pretty good deal. Let's see if you can find a package slip. Uh, these are from, as they run away from me here. Uh, well, I'll take a look at where they're from later. Let me get them opened up. So these two do have a slight concave to them. Similar tread pattern. You know, that little X in there, a little space between it. These, they both of them have a almost full depth sipe between the X. I think the ITP might be slightly deeper. It's something you're gonna notice right from the get-go. Uh, so these are the real deal whole shots, not the knockoffs. Made by ITP. If you look at this tire size. These are 2011-10. So, if you remember, these ones over here are 2010-9. So they should be one inch less wide, which, Probably about an inch and three eighths, so close enough, you know, it's pretty close. Biggest thing that was a, uh, a an eye-opener for me is the diameter of the tire. How's that for a difference in diameter? So, I don't have a tape on me right now, but I measured them earlier when a notice the difference and the difference in the size is uh like about an inch and three quarters so pretty significant difference uh knowing that going in those generic tires they might make a 22 maybe you can get a, a 22 11 9 or 22 11 10 not really sure i'd have to double check uh so what i have here in case you're wondering why i got two different wheel sizes is this particular one these came with the bike when i bought it uh, these were for the factory wheels. So these are 2010 9s to go on the factory wheels. I'm going to take these uh, tires and they're honestly going to go on my 450R. Because what I have is a set of uh, bead locks, but they're 10 inch. So that's why I picked up these 2011 10. And then that way you get a little bit wider of a tire. Uh, you know, something with a little more area for a little more grip. Hopefully won't spin the tires quite as much. But let's take a look at some other aspects of the tire. So these particular tires give your normal BS, uh, you know, not for highway use. Uh, tubeless, let's see if they say the number applies. They don't. So kind of makes it hard to compare when you don't know how many flies. But something you'll notice right away is, see the depth of where the bead is right here? It's pretty deep. And if you compare it to the knockoff, it's not nearly as deep. Uh, my biggest concern with that is if you're in an area that's got rocks, 
uh, the bead that sticks out farther is obviously going to protect your wheel from rocks. Uh, you know, if you got some polished up wheels or, you know, bead lock rings that you don't want to get all jacked up. Uh, I realize it's a four-wheeler and it's raw for a deuce, but, you know, I try to keep your stuff nice a little bit. Uh, on a positive note, these knockoffs have, uh, you know, this little detail on it right here. Uh, you know, it's nothing special, but, you know, it just gives it uh, a little more appeal if you're looking for that kind of a look. Uh, the whole shot does have a very prominent seam where the tread meets the bead. Uh, these do not. These, uh, whether they buff that seam off or it's just in how they mold them, maybe that's why it, uh, it deflates so much more when there's no air in it. But uh, as far as pliability goes, yeah, very similar. I mean, it's not like a... a Pretty high tech test that I did there, but the pliability of the knobs seem about the same. And uh, we'll give a, a review as a end of the fall, beginning of the winter, and we'll see how uh, the difference is of, of how they hold up. And we'll put them on two different machines. But uh, there you go. Can you buy knockoff tires and still get a good tire? Uh, if you know what you're looking for and you buy them for the right size for what you're looking for, then uh, I'd say, yeah, they seem like a pretty decent tire. But uh, but definitely not as big. So if you're looking for a 20, you got to see if they make something in 22. But I was very surprised at this. But uh, just do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. If you got something you want to see a review on that you want me to purchase and compare it to something else, let me know. And uh, just getting started here. Got a lot more to come.